Is Jira Service Management Premium worth more than 2x the price? Let's talk about it. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure you check out those links down in the description. I have links to my merch store, my podcast that I host every single Thursday at 2 p.m. Pacific time with the Jira guy called The Jira Life. Make sure you check that out and subscribe, especially if you're looking for a cool new community. And most importantly, I have links to my paid and free courses. So if you're looking to take your skills to the next level, check out those links. And finally, I have a membership so that you can help support this channel. All right, let's talk about JSM pricing and what do you get if you go to premium? Because if you remember about a year ago, I dropped a video on Confluence Premium. Is it worth it? And at the time it wasn't, I still don't think it is, but let's talk about JSM Premium. All right, so here we are inside of JSM's pricing. And as you can see, there are three, technically four tiers. We have the free, which if you have three agents in Jira service management, we don't call them users, we call them agents. So as long as you have up to three agents, you can get it for free. You're up to standard 22 bucks a month per agent. And then we have premium, which is more than 2x the price. As you can see, 22 times two would be $44 and we're not paying 44, my friends. They're asking us for a little bit more. So 49.35 is the price there. Also very interesting. I've never seen this in Atlassian's pricing before, but what's up with the cents? Um, I don't know if it's just me. Let me know in the comments. Do you also see the price like that? Or is it just some special pricing, some weird pricing that I have because of the unhealthy amount of time that I spend using these Atlassian products. And then finally, of course, if you're an enterprise, this is new for JSM. Uh, about maybe last six to nine months, JSM didn't used to have an enterprise version, which sucked if you wanted to have HIPAA compliance, but now JSM officially has HIPAA. And so let me know if you want me to make a video about HIPAA compliances with respect to Jira, Confluence, or JSM. I'd love to make another video on that, but let me know in the comment section if that's something interesting to you. But anyways, we're here to talk about JSM Premium. $49.35, holy moly, that's a lot of money. And so let's talk about it. What do you get? Well, luckily for us, we get a little quick synopsis. Now we are gonna go through the entire list in a little bit more detail, but this is essentially what you get. You're gonna get everything from the previous tiers, from free and standard, but you get a couple more things. So what exactly do we get? Well, first of all, we get Atlassian Intelligence. I personally hate that Atlassian is gatekeeping this one behind premium, but it makes sense. It's an expensive feature to build out, but I will tell you that right now, as of this writing, March 2024, April 2024, when you're looking at this, Atlassian Intelligence, in my opinion, it's still in its infant stages. It's still not useful enough to be revolutionary. It's kind of cool. It does some clever things, but it's not something that I would rely on as a power user. So keep that in mind. For this feature alone, I would not be doubling my bill. You get advanced incident management. Now, this is for shops that are true ITSM, that are looking for like a ServiceNow or a Zendesk type of alternative where they want something powerful, but you do get incident management with standard. You just don't get the advanced. And now Atlassian, you'll notice cleverly, doesn't actually make this a link. So we'll take a look down below to see what advanced means, but I'm willing to bet that you don't need the advanced ones. We'll take a look in a second. So make sure you stick around for this whole video. We get unlimited file storage. Awesome. That could be useful, especially if you're running a shop where customers are uploading attachments to your request, that might come in handy. We also get asset and configuration management. We'll talk about that in a lot more detail here in a few minutes, because that is probably the only reason that I would ever upgrade to JSM Premium. But I hope you have one, two, three, maybe five different PhDs because assets management inside of JSM, probably the most complex thing other than Atlassian's analytics, that definitely requires like 10 PhDs to know how to figure out. But assets is really, really not the easiest, most straightforward thing. And a lot of companies usually need external help just to figure it out because it's just so hard or I wouldn't be doubling my bill for this. And then we get 24 support, 24 seven support for critical issues. I don't buy this. Atlassian support is lackluster. I made a video like almost two years ago about how lackluster their support is. Here we are two years later. I still think Atlassian support is at the exact same level. I wouldn't pay extra for 24 seven to just wait because the teams are Australian and you're waiting a day or depending on your time zone. If you're in Pacific, if you're in California, heck, I'll just generalize it to the, to the United States. If you're in the United States, 
24 seven support, not worth it. You're going to be waiting a long time. All right. So let's go into detail. So what exactly do we get? Right. So just let me highlight some of the things here that I think you should be aware of. So email notifications important, but as you can see, you get them in standard as well. So unlimited, this is something you'll use up a lot. Don't buy into the SLA. JSM actually went down April 2022 in front of the entire world while that lasting was at Teams 22. And so definitely don't trust this. It's normally always up, but when it goes down, it's going to go down and it's nothing that they can control. And so I don't particularly care for this, so I'm not going to pay extra for it. This right here, though, this is key. This is critical. If you have any automation rules, you are limited to just 5,000, not 5,000 per user, but 5,000 in total. And if you are using automation rules heavily, this may be a showstopper for you. So you may want to upgrade because if you have, let's say 10 agents, well then instead of a thousand, you get a thousand times 10. So you get 10,000 automation rules per month. And so if this number is multiplied by the number of users when you are on premium. So again, if you are a heavy automation rule user, this would be something, but I would challenge you back. Maybe refactor your automations, reevaluate your automations and determine, do you actually need to be running these? Because I go and audit some of these automation rules and I have, for example, somebody do an automation rule to set the resolution of an issue when it transitioned to done. Um, that's for free in the workflow. So you don't need to be wasting a thousand executions every single month to do something you can get for free. So maybe go and audit your automation rules before you go in more than two extra bill. What else do we get? Well, as you can see, as we're scrolling down this list, there's a whole lot of overlap, so not a lot of special things, but we get down here, we get down to the AI, and as I mentioned at the beginning, I wouldn't be doing this for the AI agent. As you can see right now, this only works with Slack. Microsoft Teams is coming soon. Most of the people that I know with are Microsoft Shop, so this ain't gonna help you very much, at least not yet. Skip out on it for now. And then we get the last in intelligence, which again, is more of a gimmick in my opinion. It's not the coolest feature. It's neat, it does AI, and it's got some novelty to it, but it's not worth two more than two X the price for AI. I, let me tell you that much. It's not saving you that much time. As we come down the list, this is where things start to get interesting. We get alerts via SMS, voice, email. And uh, so you start getting a little bit more into the weeds. So if you rely on voice, this is something that's only going to be available in premium. I don't know of anybody that uses voice. Heck, I don't know a whole lot of teams that even use the alerts within JSM, but Again, if you're trying to build out a true ITSM system, then this might be important. The APIs and automatic incident creations, these are probably the only reasons why you're moving to um, a premium as well, because you're going to get the ability to have maybe third party tools. So if you're really, and I mean, you really are taking advantage of the ITSM solution to like 100% capacity, then it makes sense. But if you're just dabbling, if you're just like monitoring little services or you just want to help desk, you don't, I repeat, you do not need to be on premium. Standard is going to be more than plenty for you because you get advanced alert integrations, right? You're, we're talking to third-party tools, hundreds of them that are connected or supported by Atlassian. So unless you have those tools and unless you actually are wanting to monitor the health and status of those tools, this might be overkill. Uh, we have incident investigation where you see deployments and commits leading up to the incident, but this means that you have your entire CI CD pipeline configured and integrated with Jira. Not everybody does. So if you don't, not worth the price. And then we have heartbeat monitoring, which just again, very passively uh, is checking and monitoring different services, which you got to set up and they got to be integrated and APIs and all that stuff. So unless you're taking advantage of all that, it's not worth the price. So that's on the incident management. As we come down to the service management, we get service subscriptions, external services. So very much related to the previous stuff, unless you're actively doing this, unless you're actively and you have this all configured, which by the way, not easy thing to do, then it's not worth, in my opinion, more than two X in your price. Then we get to change management, similar story here, but we just have deployment gating, which basically means you can stop a deployment. And that again, unless you're truly using the CI CD pipelines here, it ain't gonna do you much good there. And then we get to assets. Folks, assets is worth it if you know what you're doing. And if you know, and you have a mapping of your entire organization, it's worth it. But it is time consuming. It is really, really not a trivial thing to set up. This is hard. You There's a lot of configurations and you need an expert like me to guide you through it. 
because it's not something you can just whip up and go, okay, we have assets. So if you are going to be considering um, JSM Premium just for the assets, because as you can see, assets is not available in free or standard at all. So this would be the only reason that if you truly want this asset management, then you're on premium. But, 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 there's a big but here. I would encourage you to check out apps from the app stores. I'm not sponsored by any of them, but I would encourage you to check out asset management in the Atlassian marketplace to see if there's an app out there that might meet your needs without having to require you to 2x your price, more than 2x. So check those out. And then we come down, everything here is pretty much the same. As you can see, nothing really special. This is enterprise only, so we're not even talking about this. But yeah, uh, we get down here to a couple of administrative things. So you do get a sandbox. That would be a cool feature if you're trying to you know, stand up JSM for the first time, you may wanna consider a sandbox. Um, recently at last, and used to allow you to be on standard Jira service management, but on premium Jira software and still be able to create the sandbox, but that's not the case anymore. You now need to have your JSM on premium, but an argument could be made that you could just simply stand up a different free JSM and do your playing around over there. And then when you're ready, use something like revise or Saltus configuration manager and bring your changes from one instance to the other. So go check out those two different, um, the, both of them are sponsors of this channel. They both have their own unique ways of doing things. So go check them both out and see which one you like more. But if you are looking for this like sandbox to production thing, check that path out. But that's pretty much it. Like, as you can see, there's, there's not a reason, right? Like if I was like, if I put my executive hat on, there's nothing on here, right? Like everybody's gonna be different. In my case, there's nothing on here that's warranting me to bump more than 2x the price to premium. Unless, again, you're really, really relying on those assets. But even then, I always caution you, right? The, the Alaska Marketplace is a beautiful place. Go check out the Alaska Marketplace and see if something in there fits your needs because it is such a premium price. And that's pretty much it. It's hard for me to push and or promote. And I'm not here, right? I'm not sponsored by Atlassian in any way, shape, or form. But more than 2x in your price is a hard pill to swallow especially for the functionality you're getting. I get that they're cool functionalities, but you really, as a company, really, really, really need to take advantage of it to justify that price. Otherwise, at standard, the only sucky part, for lack of a better word, is that limitation on those automation rules, which really, really sucks, but that's probably the only downside that I see to being on standard is that you're just gonna be limited to your automation rules, which I wish Atlassian would open up a little bit, maybe 500, per every paid user, but it is what it is. You get 5,000, which again is a, the unfortunate limit. But other than that, I think standard is the way to go. It, it should cover all your bases and really, really, really think about it if you wanna to go to premium. But if you have any questions on it, make sure you check out the description. I have a link tree, I have a membership opportunities here. You can sign up for one of my memberships and get some one-on-one -on -one time with me so I can help you kind of guide you through that journey. So if you have any questions on this, need any help, make sure you check out that link tree. And while you're there, check out my paid courses, my free courses, my merch store, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you go check out the Jira Life because if you're looking for a place where we talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of all things Atlassian, make sure you check out the Jira Life because that's the place to be. We interview folks, we talk about this kind of stuff. And if you're just looking for a place to to hang out with people that love this tool or hate it, <laughs> um, make sure you check out the Jira Life. We'll see you every single Tuesday at 2 p.m. That's when we stream. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.